Speaking of immoral, unethical, questionable, and everybody has an opinion on that, this item you might want to put your kids away for. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. Welcome to the, when well, we're not in the Commonwealth cabin. I've got four, I guess you could call them controversial questions today. One of them shouldn't be controversial at all, but for some reason, some people think it is, and we've got a ton of great sales. We're gonna mix them in, and I'm gonna go quick. Let's go take a look. Like I said, we gotta go quick. We've got 26 sales out of here, two platforms, and like, oh, I think $1,200, something really, really good like that. I got my AC running back there. I might turn it off here in a minute. This was almost accidental right here. There was a ton of stuff at a sale. It was a buddy of mine. Go check her out. Renovative Homes. I think she's on all platforms. And she does estate sales, but sometimes she comes across a house that she's not doing an actual estate sale out. It's more of a clean out. And she'll call me up and call a ton of other folks up if there's particular items that they might have interest in. And she called me up. You'll see it on a picker video down the road. And there was still some stuff there. I was like one of the last people to show up. And this was sitting there and there's no comps on it. And I'm like, I don't even know. But there was some of this name brand here, Long John's Do of Ben Nevis. And I'm like, that thing looks cool and it's in great shape. And I grabbed it. I can't remember what I paid, five, ten dollars something like that. Brought it home and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put this out there for a hundred bucks. And I got immediate interest, got some offers and I responded with some other offers and then somebody bought it full price, $99 plus shipping way more than i thought it was worth we are going to talk about those topics we'll do three more sales really quick and then get into those topics this sale was this was the same exact sale and i'm not a book person matter of fact when i saw a ton of books there i just grabbed the ones i was familiar with and called up my buddy over there at resale to rome and said hey you might want to come over here because you know more about this than me and he came and let me see if i can get this he came over and uh, i think he made some money too so that was pretty cool. This set of books here, Nancy Drew, when I find the hardbacks, if you can buy them cheap and buy them in bulk, you can make some money. But what really intrigued me here was this. So Carolyn Keene is the Nancy Drew stuff. And some of these numbers, if you go back far enough and get the older versions here and you can see the different colors, they can be worth some money. But these here, if you see, are way different and way older. And I could have parted these out here and sold them one at a time and made more money, but I decided to put them all together. Pretty, pretty good price on them. I think they sold for 50 bucks. Let me double check. Yeah, fit, no, wait a minute. Yeah, $50 plus shipping for this lot of Nancy Drew books. You gotta be careful and buy the right ones. So I had to run inside to get the next item, which is a black cat. And the cat followed me in here, but you're not the black cat. You're not Pepper. You're no name. How you doing? So you'll do at least, huh? We got a cat sale. So this one was from a church sale I went to with my wife. And my dad had gone to it first and said, Oh, don't bother. There's nothing there. And I'm like, well, we're going anyways because i got to prove you wrong. But I'll tell you, we had to dig. We found a few items. This is one of them. Paid $5 for this black cat. Multi-motion black cat. And it sold for $29 plus shipping. So I've been digging through here, Murphy's Law. The very last one I actually checked is the right one. It's another Cutco knife from our huge Cutco hole, which is gonna make us a bunch of money. Obviously, these are brand new. Well, I mean, some of the cardboard around them has a little issues, but these are brand new, never been used. 37, what is this one? 3738, it sold. I sent some counter offers out. Some people sent offers, I put counter offers. Somebody paid full price, $100 plus shipping. For that knife right there and before i get to the topic i forgot that we sold this one last episode and i didn't put it on a video not that anybody cares but it's a sting skull cap wcw nwo skull cap i think these are going for 10.95 appreciate it. the next item that i want to show you here something we just sold is something that i had no idea people would be so fervent about until i started doing social media like four years ago and the first time i bought one of these on the picker channel we used to do the what solds on the picker channel as well and I bought it and I was, I couldn't believe the feedback. And it wasn't everybody. Most people were in the same boat I am here. But a lot of people just do not like it when people sell these items. There's a lot of those items. And I've done two videos on this particular topic. So I don't want to talk about this too much, but I'm going to talk about it for just a second. I've got some other topics I want to get into as far as controversy. This is just a Bible and he has NASB leather bound Bibles on urban press. Good condition has all this right here 
I don't know what I paid for it. Probably a dollar or two, who knows. And that right there sold for $20 plus shipping. And I just don't understand the controversy here. I think it's perfectly wonderful if somebody gets a free Bible somewhere and they want to give it away, that's fine. If somebody pays a dollar or two for a Bible and they want to sell it, if they get a free Bible and want to sell it, I, I have no problem whatsoever with that. But I was getting comments, and I, I haven't mentioned this in a while, but a video I put out not long ago on a couple different platforms I started to get the same feedback I haven't seen in a long time, which is, you know, you're a despicable person. You shouldn't sell the Bible and all that stuff. And I'm like, really? They're like, I'm not going to buy from you anymore. I'm not going to watch your show anymore. I'm like, wow, that's pretty hardcore stuff right there. And usually, depending on what mood I'm in, I might ask them a question like, do you buy anything from Walmart? And sometimes they'll respond. Sometimes they won't. They'll be like, what does that got to do with anything or whatever? I'm like, well, Walmart sells Bibles. Are you not going to shop there are you not going to do business with them some churches sell bibles and like i said the gideons it's a little bit of a different story i can understand that a little bit more because the gideons are in the business of giving away bibles and you know i don't know but i i get a lot of feedback from it and i'm just curious where you stand on that but i'm much more curious because i highly doubt my opinion is going to be swayed on selling bibles but i'm much more curious about some other reseller topics that I think a lot of us question all the time. And I'm gonna do, we have a ton of sales, so I'm gonna do a few sales. I'm gonna do one sale and then one topic, one sale, one topic, until we get through the other three. But I'd love to hear your comments below on some of these. This is a Camaro Z28 keychain. It went off 30% off, $11, I think 28 cents or 16 cents. Free shipping on those, and we have made a ton of money off of these. Still have a bunch to go. By the way, I like to ship them in these right here. Don't do much to them at all. Just slide them in there and they're good to go. Don't have a problem. There's my American Bubble Boy. I'm on the delivery service, by the way. It is awesome. I was running out. That's the last roll I had. And I'm like, man, I hope that kicks in. And sure enough, it showed up today. It just sends it out every couple of months and it keeps us well stocked. So thank you, Joel, American Bubble Boy. We always have that link below for bubble wrap. So I want to ask you a question here that I do hear people getting heated about from time to time. And I'll tell you what I do, because I don't often say it, but I kind of do every once in a while. But before I do, just want to thank Robert for buying plans for the Commonwealth Picker shipping table over there on CommonwealthPicker.com. And here's the question. When people buy multiple items, do you automatically, if you do, well, if you're doing free shipping, there's one advantage to doing free shipping. Usually people don't ask for that shipping discount to combine shipping because it's free. So there's one advantage to free shipping, although there are some serious negatives to it as well. But people will say to me if and I get comments if you don't automatically send out a shipping discount for multiple items then you're doing something unethical or wrong and I totally disagree I say this all the time occasionally anyways when we're going through here is if somebody asks me before the purchase absolutely matter of fact if somebody asks me after the purchase I usually do it but sometimes those sales aren't all bought together sometimes they're kind of piecemeal apart and you don't even see them sometimes. But yes, if somebody asks me as part of the deal, of course we're gonna do that. Hopefully I don't forget. Sometimes viewers ask, yes, we'll send it out. Sometimes if you buy multiple items that are first class and it puts it up into priority, there's not that much of a discount anyways. But is there anybody out there who absolutely every single time somebody buys something always reduces the shipping and sends a refund? I'm just curious. I don't automatically do it if it's requested. I'll do it. As a matter of fact, I have a sale down the road here in a few minutes that kind of applies to that. And I actually have a shipping rule set up for it for particular items that I have multi quantities of, where if you buy this many, the shipping is this, and then it's this, and then it's this. And that's the best way to handle it. You can get more sales, but I don't do it on all items because if some people are buying different items, it's not as easy to do that. But this one sold, this one I think sold to a viewer and it sold for $7.66 free shipping. These are going out way cheaper than we used to do that. And they're on the 30% off discount we got going. And we have that on items that have been in the store a long time. This has been in the store a long time because we have a quantity of 429, <laughs> which makes it worth selling for us, by the way. So this one went to James Pine Ridge Auctions. Love the podcast, Trash to Cash podcast. I don't know how anybody loves that, but it's fun. 
and I love your TikTok content. So there you go. Do you even watch this channel? Are you even going to hear this? I hope you do. <laughs> so thank you. I hope you enjoy the stickers. The next one is also an ethical shipping question. I think all three of them are actually, and I'm curious to get your opinion on this one. This is a super shooter. It's not the, the uh, wherever branded one that I talk about often, haven't sold in a while. It is one of these uh, Proctor Silex ones. And the other ones that I talk about, the 70001 model, actually goes for pretty good money, brand new. This one I picked up at a church sale and it was new. And this is where we're having a few issues here with somebody taking pictures, somebody listing it, and my hands not being on everything. This was one of those items. This is actually a brand new item, never been used, still sealed, but it was sold as used. And I wouldn't even have picked it up used because a lot of times you got to test and clean. They're just not worth it. This should have been a $25 plus ship item and sold for 10 bucks plus shipping, but we're still making money, but really mess that one up. But somebody's gonna be very happy to get it. I see this question often and I figured I'd answer it really quick here, at least the way I do it, but I want your opinion out there in the comments. Tell me if I'm doing it wrong. If you offer different options like I often do, although I'm gonna change that most of the time to standard shipping from this point forward because of the changes that are taking place, and somebody buys something and, and chooses one particular shipping method, but it's actually far cheaper to send it another method, I will send it the other method. If it's the same length, it'll get delivered the same amount of time, expected amount of time, or faster, then I will do it that way. If it's not that case and it's going to show up two days later, then I think it's probably, not probably, I think it's best to send it the method in which they paid for it. So the key to me is just getting it there in the time frame that they expect and or faster. In that case, we'll just adjust it as need be. So Rogue, this is uh, Yves Saint Laurent lipstick. I don't know exactly what kind this is. Silky Sensual Radiant Lipstick. And these can go for good money right here. This one sold for $34 plus shipping. Gonna pick up another item back here really quick. The Matrix DVD sealed. Not a huge seller. I picked up a bunch of stuff and cherry pick some that I can make a little bit of money on. This one only sold for $10. Free ship. I think it's free ship. But there's a little bit of money in it. I hear some folks say that they'll use USPS priority mailboxes and they'll ship things out UPS because UPS doesn't care about it. So I don't typically make a practice of that. I have done it three or four times in the past. And I might do it in the future, but it will almost always be an accident or a recycled box if I do it at all, meaning an accident, like I already packaged it up and then realized, oh man, this is gonna be 10 more dollars and the box is already, you know, whatever, I might do it. But usually even then I'll take it out of that box and put it in something else. I will say you definitely can get away with it on the, the few times that I have done it, it has never been a problem, but I don't make practice of it. I just don't think it's good policy, but let me know. I know a ton of people who do it. There's one more like that. And I get packages sent to me all the time in boxes and people are using these as padding inside, like rolled up padding instead of using bubble wrap and stuff. And the argument that's made is that there's, they're not ruined, that the person on the other end can then use it as a flat rate envelope. And I think that argument has some, you know, can hold some water if you know you're sending it to a reseller. But most people aren't resellers and they're not going to do that. But I'm curious what your opinion is on stuff like that. Now, if I get something in that and it's been used already and I've torn it open or something, I don't have a problem at that point putting it back in as padding. But, you know, I don't know. To each their own on that one, I suppose. Sold a pair of Dansko. Should be here. It should be on top, actually. I know I have a couple of Danskos back there, too. Jonies, I think. Let's see if this is the right one. And bought these at a set. Mm, not sure that's the right one. Actually, look, it is. Hey, what do you know? I got lucky. Thirty-five dollars plus shipping on those shoes right there. Dance coast is still pretty good name. They're not as quite as hot as they used to be, but they're still good. If you have any other questions out there or controversial things that us resellers encounter all the time, feel free to put that. Be polite, of course, down in the chat below, and I'd love to read through them and kind of get the. The pulse of everybody out there. This is an odd sale. Here it is right here. I'm so happy when these sell because they're awkward and you can't put them in. <laughs> they don't fit anywhere. And they're kind of difficult to ship sometimes. And this, I don't know why anybody would need this. Dual band, dual band glass mount cellular antenna. I mean, just look at that thing. 
and they don't sell for much but they sold for this one sold for 17 dollars 50 cents plus shipping and i think i have one left we've sold like four or five of them speaking of unethical not you kitty look at that i've been using that thing for like 20 years <laughs> and i used to get people yelling at me for that and i suppose they're right but hey all right indigo palms denim company this shirt was a dollar buy i believe so for 13 dollars 99 cents plus shipping speaking of immoral unethical questionable and everybody has an opinion on that this item you might want to put your kids away for it is one of the we bought this family guy thing if you haven't seen it if you're new to the channel on the commonwealth picker channel with rod picking and punching and the death pile picker and he of course had an inappropriate comment with this which doesn't surprise you at all with death pile picker but nighttime lois and peter sold <laughs> And this was a cross-listed item, y'all. It sold for $49.45 plus shipping. That's a pretty nice little sale right there. We have reached the point, well, we're just a tiny bit short, I suppose. I don't have my list, but we're just about broken even on these items. And we still have quite a bit to sell, but that's a good one. Shout out list perfectly anytime we have a cross-listed item sell code commonwealth down below if you ever want to give it a shot if it's right for you and that's a slightly different topic is there anything out there that you won't sell your conscience won't allow you to sell i do have a few things on that list for myself it took me a little while to dig through these hats but i finally got them two of them and they were bought separately and i do remember at least i think i do somebody asking for i don't think this was a viewer but somebody asking for a discount if they bought them both so i have to go back and look through my messages but they went out for 40 bucks. That was pretty cool. Free ship. All right, everybody. Reagan's here and has a bunch of thank yous. We are down, by the way, to... Well, last I checked, we were down to 22 of these left. But that's, you know, obviously this comes out after we film it. So probably in the teens at this point on those. We'll see. Hopefully if there's some left, if anybody wants them. And that means we sold 78 or something like that. That's not bad, huh? Not bad. Like your t-shirt. Thank you. <laughs> all right, bunch of people, and they bought all kinds of stuff, mostly those Inaman, Bo Inaman booster stickers for the third quarter, but all kinds of stuff has been selling like crazy. And you're tired, and you're going to have to ship a bunch more tomorrow. <laughs> yep. All right, what do you got? A bunch of thank yous. Chucky, Joy, Little Miss Q, Amanda, Kathy, Margaret, Stacy, Yawn, Jeremiah, Holly, Daniel, Robin, Mark, Rod, Chris, Robert, and Philip. Very and good. And, oh, there's Mrs. Raysell Resale at the bottom. I wrote that because I didn't want you to Daniel say that word, you know. Dan. <laughs> Dan and Demand, right here. I see him right here. See him up here on the screen? Oh, yeah. Our buddy and Little Miss Q's, a bunch of creators in there, a bunch of folks that we've known going way back, and a bunch of names that I'm very familiar with as well. So thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at commonwealthpicker.com. So even if it is a free ship item, if they ask and I agree before they buy it, of course you're going to send it out, right? As a di Usually I'll just say, hey, when I ship them out, I'll send you whatever the overage is. I'll send it back to you. But that brings up one more topic I want to remind folks, because there is a lot of folks from all kinds of different platforms. We have a video just absolutely going crazy on Facebook right now, and so I'm seeing a lot of new names and new faces and our picker channel is growing. Matter of fact, by the time you see this video, I don't want to count my chickens before they're hatched, but that's getting close to 100,000, which I'll address that at some point because I don't want to get teary-eyed, but <laughs> we do appreciate the support. So I do think that uh, there are a lot of folks out there that aren't putting messages in there. I get messages back like, you didn't say thank you for this or this or whatever. The best way, the almost, the only way really where I'm definitely gonna see your message is when you purchase the item, there's a section leave message for buyer, for seller, on the actual purchase. And that shows up on my screen. But other than that, it just gets buried in there. So I'm sorry if I if I haven't given out a thank you to anybody. I don't do it on purpose. So a Toshiba DVD VCR combo right here. My dad picked this one up for I think $10. Brought it home, he's like, I don't know which is good and which isn't, but it had a, a remote, so I picked it up. I was like, you did good. Tested it and showed it working, and it sold. We put AV cables with it and a blank VHS, and it sold for $70 plus shipping, so 10 into 70. That's not bad. When we were in Phoenix, took a trip to the Phoenix bins and found a few things while we were there. One of them was a toss back. If you listen to the podcast, I talked about this. 
I grabbed these two pieces right here off of a coach bag that was completely trashed, stained and everything else. And I took those two pieces off and they went up there and they, you know, that you pay by weight and they weighed them and they cost two pennies. So this was a penny right here. And this one sold really quickly for $14. Free shipping, but it's still like seven, seven fifty profit on that guy right there. Speaking of shipping out lots here, this one's going to Deborah, Debbie. And she got this Coca-Cola ornament plush. And this Coca-Cola ornament. And this Easter bunny with some sweet colors on it. I love buying vintage Easter bunnies. Sometimes they're not huge money, but Bloomer Bunny. 1994. That's kind of cool. And, you know, these don't go for a whole ton of money, but this whole package went for like $34 plus shipping. She says, I just had to have the last bunny to put with my others. Well, we got another bunny, actually. I think I have that one there, and then there's one more back there that we just got that I think is really, really cool. Not that you need to buy it. That's not why I said that. I hope you and your family have a wonderful Independence Day weekend. That just happened, of course. And it's the day after, and you're going to see this video. Is this a Monday video? I can't remember. We're, we're catching up, and it's a little odd to me right now. Always watch your channels to see what new great items you find. Even though I'm not a reseller, it's great to listen to your tips when buying for myself. Hang in there. Keep being you, Deb. So thank you, Deb. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy that a lot. You did not ask for a refund on shipping. Shipping looks... Yeah, there'll probably be a little discount. We'll check it out. The reason I say that is I think one or two of these was free shipping. And so putting them all together, there might not be but a couple dollar discount. Doug, for a couple of club head covers going to two different people, this G15 17 4S sold for $12 plus shipping. As you can see, it's not even in great condition. Still sold though. And that one sold for $12, a Razor, Callaway Razor. Sold some Radio Shack battery pack right here. That sold for $24.90 right there. Sold a Christmas, another Christmas ornament today. And this particular one was one that we were given. We were given two of these actually by two different people. When I mentioned the fact that my brother used to work for the Royals and I for a very short time was part of that organization as well in a very limited way, just FYI. And that one sold for 16, was it free ship or plus ship? I think it was just free shipping right there. This is why I said we weren't quite there, even though I knew we were. Because we hadn't got to the sale yet. This family guy sale. Some glasses. These glasses sold for better than I thought they would. This one went for $30 plus shipping. Sold some shoes. I think we got these at the 301 with ADHD. Some Nike Athletic Club Air Force Ones. Now, I want to say they were not brand new. No, they're not. But they are in great shape. $46 plus shipping. Got five more sales here today. But I wanted to give a thank you to a couple of folks who sent us a sticker. Wrote us a nice letter as well. And I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'll let you pause it if you want to. <laughs> Thanks for being such good sports. You, Dave, and Curious. Talking about the podcast. For all the memes and photos that we make fun of you guys. They're talking about the Trash to Cash Facebook group. And in this case, the Trash to Cash Patreon, which gets you into the Discord. And it really is some crazy great people over there. Some great, I learn a lot over there. It's really nice of you all to, to do that. So, Crash and Bernie. I like that. The Accident Outlet. I assume that's your eBay store. Check that sticker out right there. I like it. It's like almost like a Star Wars C-3PO looking for his arm, if you remember that. Very cool. Thank you all very much. The next one is one of those where I have so much quantity of it that I automatically set combined shipping to free. So after you pay for the first shipping, you don't pay for any more. And they went off on 30% off discount. So this person got these Gertie earrings. Got to find them here. There's five of them. Hold on a minute. So with all that, they got five of these Gertie earrings plus like $3.90 shipping. So it's like $24.95, $24.90 plus $3.90 shipping, which is awesome. They got a better deal, but I got rid of a bunch and made a bunch of money because I'm only going to have to send it. It's going to cost the same shipping either way because this is super light. I'd much rather do a sale like that than one-offs. Sold a Jordan All-Star jersey, $70, free ship. Bought this hat at a sale not too long ago on a picker video. From a super nice lady, I was trying to find something, and I was like, this looks like something Blue Ridge Mama might wear, Simply Southern. 
and I'm surprised that it sold for $14 plus shipping but it's a cool hat she already had one <laughs> I like the like almost like leopard print on it and I'll take it but this one is one of those that I'm talking about it went to Laura and Laura I know you left a message somewhere and I absolutely can't find it and it's not on the purchase but Laura I wanted to just personally say thank you for that purchase I appreciate it I hope you enjoy it cookbooks are not always great sellers but every once in a while it's better homes aren't, aren't that good at all to be perfectly honest with you but every once in a while when you find one of the three ring binder ones they do okay this is from 1968 so it's an old one i like selling the better betty crocker ones the older ones with the pie in the middle they sell better but this one i think was like a dollar and i was like eh, we can get some out of it and it did it sold for 15 dollars no it didn't it sold for 14 dollars plus shipping and the last sale here is this spider-man like venom mask i don't know if i bought this or if this was turner's i can't even remember but this was an overseas sale, I believe. I have to double check. But it sold for $15.99 plus shipping on that one right there. If this wasn't Turner's mask, I know he at least had it at one point. So it's not a bad sale. So this is a great little sale day right here, headed out of here. This is multiple days of sales, but it's all headed out of here today, which means I can better go beg Blue Ridge Mama to help me because it's a lot. I know I got a package. She doesn't package these things up. She's like, nope, not doing it. <laughs> Most of this stuff she'll she'll package up with me though. This one I'll probably do, but she can handle well, this one. I might do as well. So, anyway, just want to say thank y'all for joining us. As as always, go put your comments below on any of these issues and always be polite. Thank you so much for taking time to watch, giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and all that. And we'll talk about the Picker channel soon and give y'all a big thank you if you're over there watching too. So thank you. I can't wait to see you next time. I don't know if I can grab them. All right, Reagan's gonna show us the new chickens. Maybe. You gonna show us Sophie? Huh? No, oh, they're hiding? Like, like, I know you're in there. I mean, they're not <laughs> hiding, they're going under their brooder. How many did y'all get, by the way, completely without permission? We don't ask permission. <laughs> can, we, can you show how um, angry you were? Can I was angry. Them? I was angry. I told you not to get chickens. <laughs> how come you get to say not to? <laughs> You see the apparently um, I didn't get to say not to. You see the boxes around the. Oh no, look, you're look. We have the video today talking about unethical practices and reselling, and y'all are misusing federal property here. What in the don't world? Don't get me arrested. How did that? They're six. I don't. I don't. I think one. Look at that. Have you named them yet? Um, we haven't named each one of them. We'll reveal like, that at a later, yeah. later date. Yeah. We have names. We well, don't we know which ones. Down when they're trying to get to them chickens. Yeah. Huh? He loves them. He. He doesn't, he just is very interested <laughs> in them. All right, well, I guess we'll see him better on another episode. We'll take them out individually. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's a brown one. They're that's all big. Brown. Maybe it's the same little one we put in the pot earlier. Look. No name was Lion. No name was, yeah, Boots is going to show it, though. <laughs> I got to go put that. All right. Our Blue Ridge Mama confirms that that is Turner's mask. Yes. <laughs> it's a sad day. Sad day. You sure it's not one that... I am sure it's Turner's <laughs> mask. All right, so that means I got to give him the money for it? Yeah. Oh, God. All right, lots of help from Wallen. Clearly Wallen. Lots of exhausted. help. Exhausted. But we got Taco Bell for dinner, and she did most of the work. Most of the work. All but it only took, I mean, this whole thing, like even me doing those two and getting food, about an hour. You kill it. You crush it. Good stuff, baby. Taco Bell and Bedford, you suck. She only trusts me doing bulk orders. She only trusts me doing bulk orders when she's here. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> I usually screw it up. That's a lot of orders going out here today, baby. And you haven't done anything to help. <laughs> oh, Rolo. Hey, Rolo, link below, y'all. Love it, my favorite. <laughs>